Hi guys, Farhan Tipu here and today we have got you the Zebmax Ninja, a wireless mechanical keyboard from Zebronix. Although the keyboard is small in size, the company has tried to fit everything in the keyboard without compromising the size of the keys. For people who want less desk space and who game a lot, well, this is the keyboard for you. If you're new to this channel, please do subscribe and switch on the bell icon for all the tech related content that we'll be getting for you. So let's get straight to the keyboard's review. This is a mechanical keyboard with 60% compact design. We get two color variants here, a black color and a white color keyboard. In the box, look out for one detachable Type-C to USB-A cable, one key remover tool, one QR guide, one nano receiver and of course, the mechanical keyboard. Coming to the design of the product, I don't know about you, but I actually prefer my keyboards smaller in size. Here, we get 61 keys on the keyboard and when you compare it to a normal size keyboard of 104 keys, it is actually quite small. This keyboard is 11.5 inches long, while the normal keyboards are around 17.5 inches in length. In my opinion, you will not find any problem with the size of the keyboard once you start to use it. The company did not compromise on the make of the keycaps as well. Again, there are 61 keys here that are made of PBT material. This premium quality plastic finish makes the keys soft to the touch and it feels very comfortable while using. And speaking of being used, the key lifespan is said to be about 3 crore times. Taps, presses, whatever you prefer to say. When we look at the keyboard, we see the side frames and the lower part of the keyboard has a plastic finish with 4 rubber grips to keep the keyboard in place. Mechanical keyboards are heavier than the usual keyboards, but still, I was caught off guard by the way that this tiny keyboard was packing. It weighs a little more than 600 grams and this is because the inner build of the keyboard is completely metal. The plus point to this weight is that it sits firmly while you are using it. Now, talking about the connectivity, at the bottom of the keyboard you are given a switch with three modes, the Bluetooth mode, wireless and the USB mode. You can connect it directly with the cable or the dongle and start using it. But now talking about the Bluetooth, if you put the switch to Bluetooth mode, you will get to see the Q alphabet blinking, which means the keyboard is ready to pair. And this unit can connect up to three devices, be it your cell, mobile or any other device that has Bluetooth. I also noticed that there was a very low latency in the Bluetooth mode, which was a pleasant surprise for me. Even while using the dongle, I did not find any delay in the latency speed. And for those who have multiple devices set up, there's an interesting feature for you here. On the Q, W and E keys, you can find the BT1, 2 and 3. So if you press the function key and BT1, 2 or 3, you can seamlessly shift between the three connected devices and use the keyboard. Now, you already know that we get the RGB lights with this keyboard. So we get 21 preset modes for setting the light patterns. So, if you press the function button and the slash key, you can choose the color pattern you like. You can press the function button and the full stop button to choose which color you like as well. You can also handle 5 different brightness level modes on this keyboard by pressing the function button and the bracket key. You can also change the light speed of this keyboard. All the instructions to help you with this can be found in the QR guide. Now, if I talk about the performance of the keyboard, I had no issues whatsoever while using it to play games or during work. While working, it might get a little confusing as in for the arrow keys you will need to press the function button and the shift key, then only will you be able to use them. And press the same commands again to stop using them. So these small commands might get you a little frustrated if you're new to the 60% keyboards. But once you start using it, I feel that you won't prefer using the big keyboards again. That's just my personal opinion. The battery life is also decent and I say this because I've used it for a week for about 5-6 to six hours daily and I still didn't need to charge it. So coming to my final verdict on this keyboard, for the price of 3599, I can say that I am okay with the keyboard. The pros of this keyboard are its multi-mode setup, the materials that they use to make the key, the low latency and from what I see the durability. The cons I had to point out are because of the 60% size, people might find some issues with the keys to navigate smoothly as I had already mentioned sometime back in the video. Then, there are no software updates for the price that they're selling the keyboard, which also kind of put me off. The switch to change between modes could have also been kept on the side instead of under the keyboard. The noise that comes while typing also might trouble people, but that totally depends on the user, so I can't keep that as a con. 
And finally, there is no battery indication given to us, so I wouldn't know when to put it for a charge or if this keyboard just suddenly dies when I'm gaming. That's it for today folks and if you want us to review any other gadget that you'd like to see or if you have any other questions as well, please let us know in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to you. If the review was good for you, please do like this video and do share it with a friend or a gamer who would like this keyboard too. See you in the next video.